Now, it may surprise you, but I was not around when black and white TV existed. So I don't know how the switch came about and what it looked like. But in Australia, they had a show called Auntie Jack. And it showed the changeover in the most amazing way. So stick around and watch. Let's go. Wollongong the Brave. This is your Queen speaking from my secret headquarters in Wollongong. My Arthur and I would like to warn you that the whole world has been gobbled up by the terrible colour television monster. <laughs> that is one creepy drag queen. Especially since it's still got the moustache. Just always remember the proud colours of Wollongong, black and grey will fly at full mast and there will still be hope because if Wollongong breaks out in colour it could mean the end of the world <laughs> Arthur, how goes it on the Illawarra front? Oh. Oh. I'm looking at the Port Kembla Steelworks, Aunty Jack yeah. and nothing but pitch black Oh, good Hey, wait a minute Wait a minute, the grass under the foundry it's turning green Perky, perky, it's here already <laughs> <laughs> So are you. Arthur, I can feel it in me bones. Oh, look, Auntie Jack, we've picked up the colour monster on the radar. Struth, it's a Coromel South postcode 2518 already. Oh, look. It's almost like they're scared of it. And and is that, was that the feeling back at, in the time when it was, it was a, a real strange change? Bear in mind, I know, I know people used to watch snooker in black and white. Now, how do you watch snooker in black and white is beyond me so surely the color wasn't that scary maybe it was it's coming up the garden path it'll be here in 10 seconds nine eight seven six you're early oh don't be sorry five four three two one arr, arr, about there land lovers will be the poop deck sorry what what? I thought Australia watched weird TV when I watched Agro. But this is just as weird. <laughs> and this was a long time before. Out of the crow's nest! Oh, oh step aside, fatso. Let the new colourful personality of Captain Kid Eager say, Oh, hi there, shipmates! Oh, you poor thing. Look at the colour monster he's done. It's turned you into a lady. Ah, oh. Oh, the Jack, that's a pirate dressed as flange desire. See ah. what I mean, Arthur? Ah. Colour has an unnatural effect on pirates, turns them into ladies. Oh, listen, Puddin. To join this colour world, you've got to give them eyes, tits and teeth. Hey. Well, where are your tits? Eyes, tits and teeth. That is something they say on television, actually, that, yeah, because I've been on TV once. Can't tell you about it. It's a, it's a bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> and, they, and they say eyes, tits and teeth. Smile. Look. You know, make yourself look big. Oh, they must have dropped. He's right! He's right! Oh, there they be! Oh, they be a fine pair of tits, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's changing. I just assume by watching this that there were some people that were like really excited and then some people that were like fearful of it almost. That might not be true, but it's reminding me of when the internet started, to, you know, to get more mainstream and computers and got more, main, more mainstream and you get, you know, or, or when TVs and people would say, oh, you're, you're, you get square eyes, for example, you'd have those people and then the people that embraced it and loved it and could see what it, how good it was. Here it goes, Arthur! Oh, what a beautiful room. It's really quite nice being in colour, isn't it? I love how Auntie Jack's clothes are still pretty much grey and white. 
I don't feel any different. Oh, yeah, that's because you aren't any different, Tubby. Uh, <laughs> You're still in black and white. I am not. Yes, you are, Auntie Jack. I am. Well, I'm glad I didn't catch it. Catch what? That horrible disease that comes with colour. Uh, green slime pogoditis. Green slime pogoditis? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gee, I'm a right kid. I'm still in black and white. Oh, 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 oh look! Honey Jack! I've got pink! Pink flesh poo, oh, Arthur. You've caught it. What'll I do? What'll I do? do What'll I do? I'm going to save you, Arthur. Oh, oh. Colour remover. Right, shut your eyes. <laughs> Turn round. Oh. Right. Save. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, what about me then, eh? All right, shut your eyes. Right, say ah. Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't work on pirates. Oh! Hey, listen! I'm not a pirate! I'm Kid Eager! Uh, Martian! <laughs> Martian? How do you know he's a Martian? Here, yeah, look! Big red feet, baggy pants, and a propeller! Oh, that's me! Hey, I've always had those! Yeah? yeah. Well, how about a spotted face? Huh? Hey? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice camera work. Oh, oh, I did check. I'm changing colour. Naturally, symptom one. Oh, yuck. A green Martian. Oh, I did check. I've got gangrene. Does that mean they're going to cut? Are they using like a, like a green screen effect? Have they put, it almost looks like the spots are sort of a green screen effect. That's pretty impressive if it is back in those days. Me off? I hope so. You know, the last person who got Martian green slime pogoditis turned into a green jelly. A green jelly? A oh, bull. <laughs> what flavour is he, Arthur? Tastes like lime, honey Jack. Yum, yum, a lime Martian. Hey, hey, get your finger out of my ear, honey Jack. <laughs> Honey Jack, you've gone coloured. Why oh, don't Arthur? It was only a big joke. <laughs> a big joke? <laughs> no joke being a lime flavoured jelly. Oh, it's all right, Kenny Poo, you just wobble along with us. All right, hit it, Arthur. Oh, kid. Pick on someone your own colour. Farewell, black and white. We saw you leave tonight. Oh. And remember. All you kiddies, don't you watch colour jokes on black and white television? Because if you do, I'm going to jump through your sets and rip your bloody pink arms off. And I will too. Poo, oh, honey Jack, what's that horrible smell? What horrible smell? Oh, I think I stepped in some kid eager. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange, what a strange way to introduce colour TV. Obviously, to kids, I, I it's weird and wacky, uh, and it shows a different time. I actually really like the the camera, um, the the effects they managed, the transitions between the pirate changing, for example, into different clothes. That was weird, but I don't know. I, don't, I can't even get the, the, another adjective for it. It was a bit weird. Um, and bear in mind, I assume at the time. Not many people would have had coloured tellies. I know over in, in, in England, for example, you know, you have to have money to buy these things and not everyone had the money. So there would still be plenty of people watching in black and white. So I wonder if anyone watched this programme when it was in black and white still on a black and white TV. That would be interesting to know. If any of you were around when black and white TV, please let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it if you'd never seen this before especially. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.